Hey everybody, LogicBomb82 here with the Minecraft Union. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated uh, server for medieval engineers. Uh, this is a guide for setting up a server <coughs> that you don't play on the same machine. So basically you set this up on a server and then you connect from a different machine to it. There is port conflicts when you try to do it all from one machine. There is ways around that, but this video is not for that. So just want to get that out of the way. First thing you're going to need to do, you you need your .NET updated, so make sure you go to Windows Updates and download all the updates for .NET. Uh, this game uses that. So you need to go to Steam CMD. You can Google it, it'll be the first link. It'll take you to a page like this. You want, we're going to do the Windows client today. Then you want to click on this link and then hit save. I've already done this, but once you have it downloaded, you extract it into a folder. I like to put it on my desktop or my C drive, but it doesn't really matter. Just go to that folder, you're going to see steamcmd.exe, that'll be the only file you see. But you want to run it and it's going to download all these files for you. I've already done it, so. Once you're done and you're at this prompt here, you're going to want to do a login anonymous. So login space anonymous and then hit enter and it's going to say logged in, OK. And then you're going to be in another prompt, you're going to do an app underscore update and then the ID number you need for medieval engineers is going to be three six oops I can't type three six seven nine seven zero so again it's app underscore update space three six seven nine seven zero and then hit enter it's going to download the game it is kind of large it's going to take a little bit <coughs> so go ahead and pause the video right now and when it's done downloading, you should stop at a prompt like this. So go ahead and pause. Okay, welcome back. Now, if you're at this prompt, you need to type just all you have to do is type exit. One other thing before we do that, though, this is how you update the server is going through these first steps here. Just doing the app underscore update 367970. That will also update your files. So whenever there's a new update for medieval engineers, just come here and run this again, and then it'll update it for you. So we're going to hit exit and get out of here. Now you're going to have these folders here, and you're going to have a Steam apps common medieval engineers there's what we just downloaded you want to go in there um, the first thing first thing and you need to do is go into the dedicated server 64 and then you're going to see a medieval engineers dedicated.exe you just run that and then here's where you can set up different instances if you want to have multiple servers and stuff this is where you would do that but we're going to just continue with the local console right now because that's all we're doing so continue to server configuration then we're going to do a new game. I just made a test one earlier. So you're going to see all, all your worlds will be listed here. So you just can, you know, save worlds. You, I click on it, and then here's how I'd load my save game. But, um, you know, for you, if it's your first one, just do a new game and then fill out all the info here you need. The default server port that you need to open on your firewall and router is 27016. You can change this to whatever you want it to be. Just make sure that the port is open. And this does use UDP. So make sure you're you're forwarding U, UDP traffic from whatever port you have set here. You want to leave the listen IP to zeros, so that, that way it triggers on, on all of it. So leave that there. Here's where you can set up server admins, bat, band users. I haven't done the mods, but it looks like you can add mods from here. And then all the different scenario settings and stuff you can adjust is here on the side. So set that however you want, and then save whatever you got saved. And then just hit save and start. And you're going to see it load. It does take, you know, a couple minutes. Just be patient and let it load. Um, when it's done, it'll it'll pop up a message that says um, you need to hit Control C to shut down the server, and that's the proper way to shut down the server. So when you're done or you need to update it or whatever, um, that's the first thing you need to do. I'm gonna let it finish here just to show you. Everybody, please subscribe to my channel, uh, post any comments or questions you have. I will try to answer them as soon as I can. Also, make sure you read the comments, because a lot of times I've already helped people who have the same questions. I see that a lot. Um, so if I don't respond, make sure you look through the comments, because I probably have already posted that answer somewhere. So I'm just not responding. I'm not trying to be mean. It's just I need you to read the comments first, because I'm not going to repost everything over and over. You can also go to the task manager here, 
to make sure it's working correctly. And as long as it's running, see, I was using different CPU and memory and stuff. It's not frozen. It doesn't doesn't say that you know it's it's uh, not responding. So you know it's loading, and it's going to depend on your CPU and your memory and stuff how long it's going to take. It's not that big of a resource hog, so that's kind of nice. There you go, just finished. See now it says game ready. Press Control C to exit. So when you're done, and you want to save the world. Just go. Make sure you have the window selected with the mouse, and then hit Control C, and it's going to save it and it's going to exit it for you. And then it says server stop. Press any key. And there you go. So that is how you set up your own dedicated Medieval Engineers server. I hope it helps you. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and post any questions you have. Thanks, everybody, and have a great evening.